be. I've been good all week. There must be a problem with the batteries, said Humaku in disbelief. Himaku Hippo was a large animal. He had always been large. Even at an early age, Himaku was always bigger than his friends. But this morning, he was disappointed. He had lost no weight. He had been on a diet all week and the scales had shown no drop in weight. Why can't I be slim like my friends, Chikyo Chimp and Zebgon Zebra? He asked himself. Himaku took a long look in the mirror. My dear friend Alzinar Elephant is the only person that is the same size as me. I wonder if she would be interested in doing a diet together. It was Saturday and there was no school that day. Himaku, Alzinar, Zebgan and Chikyo had made plans to go to the cinema that afternoon. Himaku was getting ready. He brushed his teeth, washed his face and sprayed some deodorant on himself. A final look in the mirror and then he was gone. Chikyo and Zebgan were waiting at the entrance of the cinema. They had been there for several minutes. Where are they? asked Zebgan impatiently. Alcina's always running late, but Himaku is usually on time. Maybe they help themselves to another bowl of cereal, laughed Chikyo. That's enough, replied Zebgan, unimpressed. We will give them a few more minutes and then we'll wait for them in the picture hall, said Chikyo. Himaku was walking quickly towards the cinema. In the distance, he could see the familiar shape of one of his friends. Elzina! Elzina! shouted Himaku. I thought I was late, said Elzina, mocking Himaku. Himaku caught up and caught his breath. Oh, we're, we're both late, but I'm glad I got you on your own. There's something I wanted to ask you, said Himaku in a soft voice. What? asked Elzina, frowning slightly. Oh, nothing. Let's get a move on. Chikyo and Zebgan are probably already there, replied Himaku, his tone sad. The cinema was in sight. Chikyo and Zebgan had already gone inside and were met by Himaku and Elzina. The four friends had watched the film and were on their way out. They kept sneezing and blowing their noses. Chikyo, why did you blow sneezing powder in the cinema? asked Himaku furiously. It was just a bit of fun. I did not mean to blow all the powder, but I just could not help it, smirked Chikyo. You spoiled a good film as usual, said an angry Alzina. Everybody in the cinema knew it was one of us that blew the sneezing powder. I could see them pointing, said Zebgan as he blew his nose. The film was rubbish anyway, remarked Chikyo. We could not enjoy it for the sneezing, said Himaku in disgust. I've acted in better films than that, said Chikyo proudly. You act? Name one film you've acted in, asked Himaku curiously. Chikyo thought for a moment. You know the one with the ship that hit the iceberg? Yes, said Himaku. When the ship begins to sink? Yes, said Himaku and Zebgan. When all the passengers fall into the sea? Yes, say Himaku, Zebgan and Alzina. You see all the top hats lying on the water? Yes, get on with it, said Himaku impatiently. I was under one of those hats, laughed Chikyo. You are crazy, said Himaku, trying hard not to laugh. Remember, we are going swimming at the pool later, he added. Himaku stayed closest to the pool, located on the edge of the jungle. It was a short distance, but it still took several minutes to get there, because there was plenty of weaving in and out of trees and bushes. You had to avoid the snakes and other ferocious animals, like tigers. The animal Himaku feared the most was Lizarov. He was king of the jungle. He was huge and very ferocious. He had long claws and long, sharp teeth. He was very mean and used to pick on anybody who crossed his path. Eventually, Himaku reached the pool. He placed his towel on a bush and made his way to the poolside. 
Oh, it feels great, said Himaku as he dipped one leg into the pool. Himaku began to swim. After about ten lengths, Himaku got out of the pool to rest and wait for his friends. Himaku made his way to the bush to get the towel he had left. It was not there. Himaku looked everywhere, but the towel had disappeared. I wonder if the wind blew the towel into the pool, Himaku asked himself, looking confused. As Himaku looked into the pool, he could see his reflection. But there was also another reflection in the water. Looking for this? It was Lizaroth, holding the towel in his huge paw. Chikio and Zebgarn were making their way to the pool. On their way, they met Elzina, and the three friends walked happily in the warmth of the sunshine, looking forward to a dip in the cool pool. I can't wait to dive into the pool and try out my new goggles, boasted Chikio. I'm just going to swim a few lengths and then relax by the poolside, said Elzina. I think I will try the backstroke today, said Zebgarn, stretching his legs. The three friends were only a short distance away from the pool when they heard cries for help. They ran towards the sound of the cries and were horrified at what they saw. Himaku was running back and forth along the poolside. Lizaroth was preventing Himaku from escaping. Help! shouted Himaku in desperation. How dare you try to run from me, you big hippopotamus! roared Lizaroth. Chikio, Zebgarn and Alzina looked on from behind a tree. They felt helpless. Lizaroth was a big ferocious beast and boasted of being king of the jungle. Suddenly, Lizaroth surged forward to attack Himaku. Without thinking, Himaku turned away and jumped. The only place for Himaku to go was in the pool. As he jumped, Lizaroth just missed Himaku with his outstretched paw. Himaku jumped high into the air. Lizaroth looked up at Himaku. The friends looked up at Himaku from behind the tree. Then suddenly, Himaku landed in the pool with a big splash. The splash sent the water high above the trees. When the water came down, it fell on everybody. I hate the water, screamed Lizaroth. Lizaroth was soaking wet from head to tail. He looked a terrible sight. His long golden mane was all over the place. He slowly turned around and ran deep into the jungle, passing the others still hiding behind the tree. Himaku carefully climbed out of the pool and dried himself with his towel. Where are your friends when you need them? moaned Himaku to himself. One by one, the three friends emerged from behind the tree. They were all soaking wet from the water. Sorry we're late, they said, shaking the water from themselves. How did you all get so wet? asked Himaku, looking confused. We saw all the action. We are so proud of you. Next time we see Lisa off approaching, we're going to throw you in the pool, laughed Chikio. The four friends spent the rest of the evening enjoying themselves in the pool.